think that this moment would come, sir? Yes. What made you feel so confident? Our relationship with the other heads of state for that to get you agree on that. Tell us what you said. How did he come here? What, what did you have to say to the three Americans, sir? Pardon me? What did you have to say to the three Americans and their family members, sir? Welcome home and beyond that. You said, sir, that family is everything earlier today. What has it meant to be with the family all day today as they are now finally reunited with their loved ones? You can appreciate, look, anyone who's lost family or worried about whether their family would come home, whatever the circumstance was, has to understand the extreme. And you've heard me say it before. My dad used to say family is the beginning, the middle, and the end. And it really is. It's about who we are. It's about who we are as a country. What is your message tonight to Vladimir Putin? Stop. What's your message stop. to the stop. American people? Stop, 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 sir. Sir. The American people are watching this broadcast stop, sir. tonight. And I think it's fair to say they're celebrating with the families. What's your message to the American people? There's nothing beyond our capacity when we act together. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't know who the hell we are. We're the United States of America. The United States of America. We put back together the relationships with countries that we haven't had before. We built NATO. We rebuilt the circumstances that allowed this to happen. That's why it happens. And Mr. President, should American journalists ever feel afraid about reporting abroad? I think, look, no matter where you are, there's certain places that you're going to be afraid. Man, I'm, I'm, the idea you're never going to be afraid. You'd never show up anywhere in, in the Middle East. You wouldn't show up anywhere in Russia. You wouldn't show up anywhere. It matters. It matters to be aware of what you're going into and not to take undue chances because it's going to, because I'm going to come get you. Of your many okay, achievements, where does this rank among your many achievements as president? Well, look, this is, to me, this is about the essence of who we are as a country. It really is about personal relationships. It's about family. It's about being able to have access to your own, the people you love and you adore. Imagine how you'd all feel if you had, you were know, being held captive unfairly and you had children waiting home for you. Imagine how you feel. How many of you have children? Raise your hand. Yeah, okay. Imagine being sitting in a prison not knowing you'll ever get home and wondering what's going on with your children. How they go to bed at night crying. How they ache every night, every day, and they're gone. It matters. Mr. Mr. President, we understand that it's very important to call that case. Mr. President, what do you want to ask Putin? Mr. President, Mr. President, hours before you announced that you were going to be uh, leaving the 2024 race, can you talk to us a little bit about uh, how important it was for you to get this deal done knowing that you were not going to seek a second term? Was it very important? I still get it done even if I was seeking a second term. Not me. I'm still all right. You're stuck with me as president for a while, kid. There's no way out, okay? You got me for at least another 100 or 90 days or so. So it, it, it did not even do with that. It had to do with the opportunity and trying to convince one last country to say, okay, they'll step up. Mr. Look, President, Mr. President, how critical, this how critical will now be cemented as a part of your one-term uh, legacy. How are you thinking about the rest of your time in office? How are oh, you? Oh, we can talk about that another. Mr. President, what's the message to other Americans in this process? Chancellor Schultz's commitment to getting this deal across the finish line. Could it have been possible without that agreement? No. Thank you. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Madam Vice President, your reaction tonight. Very good night, and it's testament to the work that we prioritize under Joe Biden's leadership in our administration, which is the importance of building alliances, building the strength that we have through diplomacy to have outcomes like this. And there's so much at stake right now in our country and in this upcoming election, including who has which approach to understanding America's strength. This is an example of the strength of American leadership in bringing nations together to deliver. I wonder whether you have a message for somebody like Mark Vogel.